Tonight, a man Chico police describe as a serial criminal is behind bars, but for how long? Action is now reporter Christina Vitale joins us with more on why some people are worried for their safety. Christina? Alan, the Chico Police Department arrested Ishmael Smith five times in just the past few weeks, and each time he's gotten out. My coworker Sue said that she may have seen him yesterday parked right outside of the business here. So that's really scary, especially if, if he's a predator and he's preying on women. Officers arrested Ishmael Smith on Nord Avenue on September 19th. Uh, there was a, a female walking down the street, and uh, and she reported that um, someone had reached up her skirt and 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 grabbed her. That was the fifth time police charged Smith this month. They've been ranging from uh, harassment and shoplift to uh, prowling and, and arson and battery. He's been booked on misdemeanor charges every time. So usually when you're booked on a misdemeanor charge, you get uh, cited uh, and released with a, a notice to appear in court. And, uh, and he's still in custody right now because we um, went through a, an extra process to, uh, to justify to, to keep them there. A woman who works at a coffee shop on Nord Avenue near the Safeway says it's concerning. You got a lot of women around here and students. It's scary, like, what do we do about this? What can you do? I guess maybe just get the word out there, put his face on, on the news. A Butte County College student lives on Nord Avenue and says she's on edge. Well, unsafe, first of all. There's a bunch of college kids here. So everyone's always out. So if he gets loose again, or what is preventing him from doing it again? Officer Justin Adrian said they are hoping the court will figure out a way to keep Smith out of trouble in the future. The behavior is, is definitely concerning. Uh, it seems to be escalating, and that's why we took the extra measure to, to keep him in jail as long um, as we can. Smith will be in court tomorrow. We'll let you know what the judge decides. Christina Vitale, Action News Now. Thanks.